All right. So what do we have here? Here we have the rooms. Documentation of the rooms and the people that uh, the officers talked to that were in the room, the officers, uh, the people that the officers wasn't able to talk to, um, you know, just a whole documented description of how they tried to contact the people that were in the rooms on the ninth floor, all right? Meaning not only the ones that was in 924, but also the other rooms that were close by 924 on the ninth floor, all right? And so, as you can see, the report number 926, if you follow my cursor, all right, the incident number, right here, all right, and it was entered September 14th, officer, PSO, all that good stuff. So, 914. 2017, September 14, 2017. I attempted to contact the following subjects who stayed in rooms on the ninth floor of the Crown Plaza Hotel, 5440 River Road, Rosemont, Cook County, Illinois. All right. So the first room they tried to get in contact with said subjects or whatever was 924. Of course, right? And um, the arrival date of those subjects was the 8th through the 10th. So the room was booked for the 8th, 9th, and 10th. All right, where departure was supposed to be the 10th, right? So we got 8th, 9th, and 10th. Uh, so as follows, the folio print, the folio printout for such and such, stay did not provide any personal information. I called the Crown Plaza Hotel and spoke with the front desk manager who stated such and such, but the room from a third party website. All right, so whatever they was doing at that front desk, that wasn't for room 924. Remember the girl in the, in the, in the, the gay dude that was at the front desk of Crown Plaza. Well, they wasn't booking the room for 924. And remember, they also got footage of them in the um, the hotel next to it. Okay? The, uh, what it is, the, the, fuck the tree, the something tree. God damn it. Um, wait a minute, let me, let me, let me. Double tree. God damn it, the double tree. So, Those two were they booking for something else because obviously right here 924 was booked on a third party website. Alright. As follows, he stated the only other contact information he was able to provide was a phone number of such and such, such. I attempted to call that number with negative results. The phone number was not in service. Of course, right? We already know what went down, how it got down, um, as far as uh, people booking the uh, the room for 924 for those parties or that party. However many parties you want to say went down in, on, on the ninth, all right, or the 8th. We know that they use stolen cars, all right? They cracked some cars, whatever. We already know this. So, with that being said, we know why the phone number was not in service, all right? There was some bouffalet shit. So, the officers tried to contact the people who had room 927 and 928. Now, why did they conjoin these two rooms together? Maybe because these two, well... These two rooms are on the opposite side of each other. They're on the opposite halls, right? They, I mean, they right across, right across the hall from each other, but they're not next to each other because that's not how rooms work. You see what I'm saying? The even numbers on one side, 
odd numbers on the other side. All right, that's how that works. Even in that video where you see the room 924, you see room 926 right next to it. All right, odd rooms on one side, even rooms on the other side. So why did they go for room 927, uh, 927 and 928? Hmm. Let's read. Now, the arrival date for that was the 7th, and the departure date for that was the 11th. I ran a clear search for us or such and was able to gather three phone numbers. All right. Let me slide this down just a little bit. I attempted the first number and was unable to make contact with any but left a voicemail to return my call. I then called the second number and made contact with the female subject. I explained who I was and why I was calling. The female subject who answered advised she did not speak English and hung up. I then tried, oh, y'all give me a second. Ooh. I then tried the third number with negative results and left a voicemail to return my call. Lieutenant, I mean, and I said Lieutenant. Lieutenant Elvarado proceeded to call the female subject and was able to make contact. Lieutenant Elvarado fluently speaks Spanish and was able to have a conversation. He inquired about the name that was used to book to room that was used to book to room wow and if she knew any information and or if she was there during the aff aforementioned dates lieutenant everardo advised that she stated she did not know was he was she did not she did not know it's supposed to have been who he was talking about and that she was not there hmm Lieutenant Everardo advised he was not able to obtain any information pertinent to this investigation of her personality, of her personally, or her personally, my bad. So, on the 14th, around approximately 1,500 hours, that's uh, 3 o'clock p.m., I was able to make contact with Blank, blank. He advised that he was he was staying at the hotel between the dates listed above. He stated he arrived to the hotel on the eighth at approximately two o'clock. Let me see, two hundred hours. So the arrival date is on the seventh, but he says he was there on the eighth. He arrived, he arrived to the hotel on the 8th. Hmm. He stated the same he stated that same night he went to dinner with his family and returned back to his room around approximately 1800 hours. Okay, that's 6 o'clock p.m. He stated he stayed in his room and did not leave for the night. He further stated that sometime in the early morning of the 9th, he heard loud noises coming from a different room on the ninth floor. He stated it sounded like the room was having a party. He further stated it did not bother him and that he went back to sleep. He stated later in the day, a female subject on the ninth floor. Later in the day, a female subject on the ninth floor knocking on doors to find out, to find our victim to which he had never seen or had contact with. So he's saying later that day. Not that morning, right? Because if it's still kind of dark, you wouldn't even call it that date. You see what I'm saying? You would still be calling it morning or night. All right? I'm just looking at the psychological of how someone would speak about the time of day, the time frame of the day. So he said later that day. This sounds more like Lenore and them knocking on the doors. All right? But that's just my guess. And then also, I mean, if, okay, 927 and 928, 
He said he went with his family. So they booked two rooms. But this female is saying that she don't even speak English and she wasn't even there. So how did she get in the midst of the contacts if he was the one that was there and was there with his hey, to each his own? Okay, room 930. Arrival date, the sixth. Departure, the tenth. Sounds close and familiar with um room 924. But their arrival date was there. I think the eighth. Yeah, the departure date was the tenth. So room 930. Arrival date the sixth. Departure date the tenth. I ran a clear search for blank blank and was was able to gather four phone numbers. The two numbers that were good for so such, were so such, and so such. When I attempted the first number, I received a voicemail. I explained who I was and why I was calling and requested to return my phone call. The second number I called, I spoke with a female subject who worked with, hmm. She advised she did not know where he was at the moment. I provided her with my information and she advised she would forward it to so the surgeon advised to return my call on the 18th. So and such returned my phone call and stated the following uh, following in summary, not verbatim. He recalls he recalls staying in room 930 and being woken up by loud noises around approximately okay that's 12 midnight, right? So we talking about midnight, 30 minutes after midnight, right? So that's 12.30. In the morning, midnight, 12.30. On the 9th, that's when he started hearing the loud noises. Okay? So let's give and take roughly 12.30, 1 o'clock. He started hearing loud noises. The party started jumping. All right? That sound kind of close to what? Irene said in uh, Zeke's interview that sound kind of close he stated he called down to the front desk of the hotel and advised them of a noise complaint he stated he then went back to bed and was once again woken up around approximately 2.30 by the loud noise on the ninth floor so Kanika, uh, I'ma say Kanika couldn't have went missing around. Well, we are not already discovered that Kanika didn't didn't go missing around until two o'clock. We ain't already discovered that. All right, two thirty hours. They still making loud noise and waking this man up. That don't sound like nobody coming in saying, "Hey, such 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 went missing, huh? What you mean went missing? Everybody going numb, and going quiet. Like, eh, man, she tripping, man, eh, man." You know what I'm saying? Like that don't sound like like that. Like something's going on around about that time. That still sound like motherfucker getting it in. You see what I'm saying? And this is from, uh, you know what I'm saying, a hotel neighbor. This is not from anybody from that actual party. You know what I'm saying? So approximately around two thirty hours. By the loud party on the ninth floor, he stated he called down to the front desk again and reported a, a noise complaint. He stated then, he stated he then went back to bed and did not hear any more noise or make contact with anyone. Hmm. That sounds about right because after three o'clock, you hear what I'm saying? After three o'clock, we already know what went down. We know what went down at the elevators around three something. You see what I'm saying? We already know what went down. Now, this sounds about right. Everything went numb. Everything went quiet. Everything went silent. Where, you know what I'm saying? Where's such and such now? You know what I'm saying? Now, the party is dying now. You see what I'm saying? Somebody done fucked up the party. You feel me? He said he did not have any contact with anyone the early morning of the night and did not see anything out of the ordinary. And that is the conclusion of the 
to search for the uh, tenants of these rooms. But what I'm noticing here, they <laughs> they did not do an interview or try to make any contact with anyone for room nine. 25 or 926 so was no one next door in 926 hmm are they booking rooms like that to where they just jumping all over the place can you decide which room you want you know what I'm saying like, I mean they, they skipped 925 and 926, so you have 927 and 928, and then they skipped 929 and you have 930. So I'm guessing nobody was in 929, 925, or 926. 926 is right next door to the said room that had departed. You feel me? Hmm. All right, so this will conclude this session. And um, let me see which one I'll be doing next. I think I'll be more interested in um, finding out who Pucky is. Pucky, Winky, those guys. So look forward to that in the next session, all right? All right.